Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coco. My name is Jen. Thanks for joining me today for Strong and Steady. All right, I'm standing here. I'm gonna have, create a soft bend in my knees, tuck in my belly button, extend my arms out from my sides and start moving them in small circles. All right, start with your good breathing patterns in through your nose, into your chest, exhale out your mouth. Change directions of your circles. Don't feel like you need to make them too big yet. Keep it nice and slow and feel yourself soften through your chest and back. Start tuning into your shoulder blade mobility. Feel them move as they squeeze and release. All right, bring them down to your sides. Let's take some big backstroke circles. Nice and slow, lengthening as you reach for the wall behind you. All right, nicely done. Let's take the other arm now. I've had a couple days off and so working out yesterday, now I feel tight. I hadn't done any strength training for about four or five days. And it's surprising how quickly it sneaks up on you. <clears throat> All right, bring your hand to your side. Okay, now we're gonna start with our hinges. So hands on your hips, belly button in, soft bend in the knees. All right, we're gonna melt our shoulders forward as our fanny goes back, maintaining a neutral spine. So even though your butt's going out, don't <clears throat> flare your pelvis. Feel that lengthening through your hamstring. Inhale and exhale. All right, nicely done. You should start to feel some warmth in the hamstring, good blood flow. Either extend your arms parallel to the ground or cross them in front of you. And let's take some squats. Again, maintaining that neutral spine, belly button in, tucking the tailbone down. And weight in your heels. All right, nicely done. Okay, so that's our good warm up. <clears throat> now for today's workout, we have circuits. Okay, we have three circuits. We're gonna do, uh, most of what we're doing today is gonna be compound movements. All right, so that means we're gonna take two movements and put them together. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna take, in these three circuits, there's six different movements. So we're gonna try and do these as well as we can in continuity. Most of them include dumbbells. So, <clears throat> and hopefully we can do them um, again, pretty fluidly. So let's go ahead and start with the first movement <clears throat> is a high knee. So like a high march, but we're gonna add a dumbbell. Okay, now I'm choosing to put my chair in front of me. And so what I'm gonna try to do is tap the chair. So I get an idea of how high I'm raising my knee, right? So I'm not just bringing it just a little bit off the ground. Now you can tap the bottom of the chair or you can choose to tap the top of the chair or if you had some other device, remember I always like measurable goals. Now with a dumbbell, we're gonna raise it up overhead. And as the foot comes up, we're gonna bring the dumbbell down to the knee and back, okay? And we'll alternate <clears throat> and we're gonna do 10, set, 10 pairs of these, okay? All right, so dumbbell by the ears, up over the head. All right, tap and tap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, nicely done. Okay, way to warm up your chest. Now we're gonna take a similar idea here with a single dumbbell. 
We're gonna place it down at our thighs and we're gonna work on alternating split stance. So as I step back into my split stance, I'm gonna raise my dumbbell out front. Okay, you ready? So we're gonna alternate, inhale and one, one, two, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, and 10, two. Well done. Okay, next we're gonna reach for two dumbbells. Okay, now we're gonna put our dumbbells on the rack. So palms up, elbows underneath. We're gonna do a squat and a twist reach. So we've done this before where we imagine that we're putting something away over our shoulder, the opposite shoulder, like something up in a shelf or a cupboard. All right, you ready? So little squat, rise and up and up. Squat, press up and up. Squat, alternate, press over the shoulder. Four, five, squat, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Excellent. Okay, now we get to put dumbbells down. All right, we get to free up our shoulders. That was a ton of shoulder work. Now we're just holding the weight of our arms at our shoulders as we do standing oblique crunch. All right, so focusing on the lateral support muscles, obliques and glutes, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, nicely done. Okay, let's come to seated. All right, now for this next movement, again, more shoulder work. And I encourage you to probably start with your lightest set of dumbbells, okay? So what we're going to do is Y to T raises. So what does that mean? We're gonna rate, take our dumbbells, raise them up overhead, bring them down to our sides and back up, okay? So we'll do that 10 times, focusing on how stable am I keeping my torso? As it gets challenging, you may feel yourself want to wobble a little bit. All right, so make sure that you're really wrapping that transverse. Find your sits bones as you sit in your chair. Okay. All right, so we're gonna press overhead. T to Y. T to Y. Three. Four. Five. Zip. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, lower with control, well done. All right, and the last one in this circuit, I'm just reaching for a little bit heavier dumbbells. Oh, no, I'm not. I just looked at what I have. I've seated row to fly. Okay, I know that I can do more when I row with palms facing but flying is a little bit harder, right? I'm loading the backs of my shoulders. And so I'm gonna stay with my slightly lighter weight. Okay, I'm gonna do this in a seated position. Find your sits bones, neutral spine, dumbbells in a suitcase, carry at your side, hinge forward. Okay, stay neutral. 
Shoulder blades are lightly drawn together, chest is out. Okay, ready? Row, return, fly. Row, return, fly. Three. Four. Five. Think with your back. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good, hinge back up, nicely done. Okay, now we're gonna go through that whole thing again, this time eight repetitions, okay? So come to standing. All right, now we have that standing dumbbell high knees. All right, so pick whether you want the slightly heavier weight or the lighter weight. Now I recognize by giving us this target, I've slowed us down and that's making this work harder, okay? Eight repetitions. You can do it. Single leg balance. Dumbbell overhead. Ready? Exhale. Tap and tap. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven eight and eight. All right, nicely done. Okay, I'm moving my chair out of the way. Again, dumbbell by the ears, stepping back into my split stance, arms go out front, ready? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. Okay, next set is two dumbbells. All right, so this is the alternating twist reach. Now stay with me because I'm going to add a little variation here. We're actually going to step as we twist and reach, okay? So we'll do a squat. We're gonna twist and press with the right hand and step with the right leg. Okay, very straightforward. Stepping with the hand, same hand as foot. Okay, and over to that same opposite side. Okay, dumbbells on the rack. Squat, return, step, and return, step and return, squat, rise, step and press to the left, step and press to the right, three, four, now as you do that press out, we don't wanna press particularly really far away from our center of gravity, Six. So as you can see, I'm reaching up and not tremendously out. Seven. And eight. Good, dumbbells down. All right, shoulders feeling strong or tired, or both. All right, palms at your ears. Ready, standing oblique crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, oblique, oblique, seven, and eight. All right, nicely done. Okay, now we get to go back to our chairs. All right, sort out the dumbbells. Okay, I'm gonna use, again, my lighter set here. All right, seated Y to T raises. Okay, suitcase carry neutral spine, nice and tall. All right, dumbbells on the rack. We're gonna press up, 
down to T and up. Two, three, four, zipping the rib cage. Five, hold your head as still as you can. Six, seven, and eight. All right, curl and lower to your side. Suitcase carry. Here we go, right into our next movement. Hinge forward, neutral spine. Row to fly. Row and fly. Two, fly. Three, fly. Four, fly. Five, fly. Six, seven, and eight. And hinge and rise. Okay, your first water break. <clears throat> okay. All right, round two. We're going to follow that same format. Go all the way through and then come back. Okay. So for the first one, the first two moments, really, we're doing a lateral lunge to a single arm upright row. So you can hang on to the two dumbbells, but we're gonna go toward that same side the entire time. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna hang on to my dumbbells. I'm gonna have palms in, so my arms are kind of in front of my thighs. It wouldn't work if they were in my suitcase, right? Because I'm stepping that way. All right, so lateral lunge, step, push off, row, two, row, three, lateral lunge, row, five, six, I'm stepping to right and pulling with the left, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, well done. Okay, now stepping with the left, pulling with the right. Ready? Left and pull. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and 10. Well done. All right, now we're going back to our chairs and a single dumbbell. Mixing this up today. All right, we're gonna do a seated press out twist, okay? So be mindful, we're pressing weight away from our center of gravity, so our body's response will be to lean back. Exhale into your core, don't let yourself lean back. All right, ready? Press out, twist, and twist. In and out, two. In and out, three. I always give you the stuck steering wheel analogy. So get those lats and obliques engaged. Six, turn, seven, in and out, eight, in and out, nine, in and out, 10. All right, and return. Okay, now we're gonna come back to standing. So tuck that chair away. We have lateral step squat thrusters. So dumbbells are gonna again be on the rack at your shoulders. All right, so we'll start with a squat and a thrust. So when we say thrust, that means like a thruster might do on a rocket ship, it's gonna power ourselves from the ground. So I want you to think propelling energy from your legs and your hamstrings to do your shoulder press. Okay, ready, inhale, sink and press down, step to the side, squat and press. Step three, 
Step, four, press. Step, five, six. Step, seven. Step, eight. And finding your center, even though you're stepping. Nine. Last one. And thrust. Well done. Okay, dumbbells down. Now, a hinge and a balance. All right, we're going to do an X. I call them X jumps because in other formats you might jump, but today we're just going to come into our tiptoes. All right, so legs are wide in parallel, like we're going to do a hinge, which we are, but extend your arms out for your sides. And our goal is to touch our opposite toe. Okay, ready? Inhale, touch, tiptoe, touch, tiptoe as you reach for the ceiling, touch, tiptoe, touch, tiptoe, five, tiptoe, hinge and touch, tiptoe, seven, tip, eight, tip, nine, and 10, and tiptoe. Good, All right, nicely done. And our last element, we're gonna be back in our chairs, okay? So we're gonna do concentration curls. What are we doing here? We're gonna do one arm at a time, full range, while the other arm is holding a platter, right? Okay, so, I have left arm down all the way, staying in my range, my right arm's tucked out at a right angle. One, two, three, four. And I'm trying not to really pinch up my right side. I'm trying to be relaxed. Tension in my lats, obviously, but relaxed in my neck and tops of shoulders. Nine and 10. All right, let's switch. Okay, left arm has the platter. One, full range with the right. Two, three, four. And I even like to do it open palm so I get a sense. Okay, don't lean, sit tall. Eight, nine, and 10. All right, well done. Okay, so now we're on to our eight rounds, okay? So come to standing. We have that lateral lunge, single arm upright row format. Okay, so we're gonna start stepping to the right. As we come back to center, pull left elbow to ceiling. All right, palms facing out in front so your dumbbells aren't gonna be in your way, ready? Step and pull, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. Okay, other side. Ready? Step to the left, pull with the right. Step and pull. Two, three, Four, five, and you're pushing off that bent leg. Six, seven, and eight. Nicely done. Okay, back to our chairs. Press out twists. You know, another mental image that I had here was like a, peppercorn grinder, oh, oh, giant one, but okay. Sits bones, neutral spine, belly button in. All right, dumbbell to your chest, press out, twist. Press out, twist and twist. Twist and twist. Three, in and out, four. Five, in and out, six, in and out, seven, 
in and out, eight. And back to your chest and down, good. Okay, lateral step, squat thruster. All right, how are you doing everybody? All right, we get to have, stop for a little one minute water break here in just a bit. Okay, dumbbell suitcase carry on the rack. All right, we'll start with the squat thrust, ready? Sink and thrust, lateral step. Sink, thrust, lateral step. Good, this is five right here. We only have eight this round, six, seven, and eight. Good, okay, dumbbells down. Now we have our X jump, X tiptoe. All right, extend those arms out from your side. Relax through the neck and tops of shoulders. Hinge, touch your toe, tiptoe, hinge, tiptoe, three, four. And we ideally want to be in that full hinge where we melt and get our neutral spine, shoulders parallel to our hips, and eight. Well done. Okay, seated concentration curls. Okay. All right, you ready? Two dumbbells, one's in a platter. I'm gonna go right hand on a platter. Left hand, suitcase carry, hammer curl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, let's alternate. New platter, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, dumbbells down. Okay, for our last circuit, we're on the ground, okay? All right, so you can use your chair, find your way down to the ground as necessary. All right, so I'm gonna hinge forward and plant my hand on the chair, drop to one knee and then two knees. All right, now, as you're getting your water, I'll talk about what's to come. We're going to do a boat pose scoop fly. Okay, so where am I on the ground when I am in a boat pose scoop fly? Well, boat pose, we're not on our tailbone, we're leaned back on our sacrum. Okay, but we're maintaining our neutral spine. So that means we don't want to round. We want to feel as though we feel when we're standing up straight vertical to the seat or, uh, on our feet, but we're just leaning back. So we're putting a little bit more intensity in our core. Okay, so I have my two dumbbells and my scoop fly. If you remember, I'm targeting my lower, my serratus anterior around my rib cage in my lower pec. So I'm going to start with my hands down here like an X and I'm gonna scoop and come up, bringing the base of my dumbbells together out in front of my chin, <sighs> scoop, like an ice cream scoop coming down and up to center. All right, you ready? Okay, and my legs are in parallel, my heels are to the ground. All right, dumbbells on either side, neutral, recline, scoop, one, two, and I'm breathing deeply into my transverse, Four, five, six, seven. Remember, we got 10 here. Three, two, and one. All right, set the dumbbells down, come back up. Okay, now we're gonna go down for a glute bridge. In the next couple, we're gonna be reclined all the way down on the ground. So I'm gonna turn over onto one hip. And I'm gonna lower myself carefully onto an elbow, shoulder, and then down and roll back into stargazer position. 
All right, now, <clears throat> this combo movement is a glute bridge with a dumbbell rib cage arms. Okay, so as we do this dumbbell, our goal is to load our lats. Okay, so I'm on the ground in my good stargazer pose, legs in parallel. I have my dumbbell by the ears into my chest. And I'm gonna elevate it, but first I need to get into my bridge, okay? So I'm gonna inhale through my nose, exhale out my mouth, start engaging my transverse, thinking about my body setup. Good, and on my next one, I'm gonna begin pulling from my transverse, getting my pelvis off the ground, and then digging from my heels, allowing my hamstrings and glutes to work. And then I'm gonna press the dumbbell up over my chest. All right, so here's where I've stabilized my pelvis with my lower half, and I'm gonna bring the dumbbell down toward my hips and up over my head, only as far back as my lats will let me go, and then I'll contract and bring it to my hips again. Good, back over the head and back toward your thighs. And throughout, keeping my lat engagement, I, I don't let my arms really get out of my peripheral vision. That's about as far as I can go. Holding on with my lats, zipping my rib cage. Eight. Nine. and 10 back to my thighs, let it rest on my chest and then slowly lower my pelvis back down to the ground with control. All right, nicely done. Okay, now for our next movement, we're gonna do a chest press laying on our backs here. Okay, now I am going to demonstrate holding my legs up in the air. Now you can do this or you can choose to not, okay? but I'm going to hold the dumbbells at my chest and I'm gripping them and they're running up and down. And I'm gonna exhale and draw each leg up in the chair. Okay, so I can leave them here or I can straighten them if I want, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave them in chair. All right, now I'm ready to do my chest press. Are you? Inhale through the nose, exhale and press and down. Two. Three, four, sinking into your transverse. No back arching. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay, now slowly lowering one leg at a time out of chair with control. Well done, okay, now, I'm gonna set my dumbbells off to the side. So the proper way to do it is to cross your body so you don't open up and exteriorly rotate in the shoulder joint, which might not feel good. All right, now dumbbells are off to the side and I'm going to roll over onto my belly. Okay, now we're gonna do a prone face down breast stroke. Okay, now as we're able, inhale through your nose, Exhale out your mouth to engage your core. As you're able, we wanna float the legs off the ground by pulling on our hamstrings. If you can't do that, or if it hurts your low back, you can leave your legs on the ground. But our upper body, we're gonna work through our back and float our head and then do our breast stroke. Okay, ready? Float the legs as you are able, arms up and swim to three, just parting the water, draw up through the center, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Well done, and lower everything back down to the ground with control. Okay, now we're gonna bring ourselves into tabletop, okay? So you can um, start pressing your knees into the ground and your hands under your armpits and press your way up onto your hands and knees. So our next movement is gonna be hydrant circles, okay? 
So wrists under armpits. I'm going to start with my right leg. Okay. Ready. All right. Circles. I'm going to bring knee to elbow out and around. One, two, three, four, five. And remember where you're evaluating or we're imagining rather change directions that I have a paintbrush attached to the tip of my knee. All right, let's switch legs. And I'm just gonna draw broad circles. Okay, left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Change directions and one, two, three, four, and five. Well done. Okay, now we can just scoot on over back onto our fannies because we're back to our boat pose scoop fly. All right, so get your dumbbells close at hand again. And now we're down to our eight repetitions series. Okay. All right, so seated nice and tall on your sits bones, neutral spine, dumbbells on either side of you, good. And then recline back to your sacrum. Spine stays the same. All right, ready, palms up, dumbbells at your sides. Inhale, exhale, and scoop and down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, excellent, dumbbells down, return back to your sit bones, and then we're gonna get onto our backs for our glute bridge, okay? So angle yourself onto a hip, all right? Slowly lower onto a shoulder and then roll back onto your back and stargazer. Okay, so this is glute bridge with rib cage arms. So a dumbbell, or if you prefer to go without dumbbells, that's fine as well. A single dumbbell by the ears, or you could go double dumbbells if you wanted. All right, now first is our bridge. Okay, legs in parallel. Good, breathe into your body set up. Think pelvic floor, transverse abdominis and inner muscles all weaving together to create a nice, precise, tight core. All right, on the next exhale, begin pulling your pelvis off the ground. Hamstrings push, glutes as well and find yourself at the top of your bridge and then press the dumbbell up over your chest. All right, now stay in your lat, squeeze, create that tension in your armpits, and then allow that dumbbell to fall back overhead with control as far as your lats will let you go, and then draw them back to your thighs. That was one. Inhale, and exhale, two. Three. Four. Good, support your pelvis, don't arch your back. Five, six, you have a lot going on with this one. If you need to, you can just come out of your bridge and focus on your rib cage arms. That's also an option and eight. Okay, dumbbell to my chest. I'm gonna lower my pelvis back down to the ground with control, nicely done. Okay, now, I have my chest press, okay? So my other dumbbell I have close at hand and I'm gonna bring it to my chest. So they're laying on my chest, both of them up and down. All right, first chair pose. Inhale into the chest, exhale into the transverse. Right oblique draws right leg into chair, left oblique draws left leg into chair. Okay, ready? I'm gonna begin pressing. And exhale, one, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, now lower one leg at a time out of chair using your obliques. Well done, okay, set the dumbbell off to the sides. Now we have our prone work, breast stroke. Okay, so roll over onto your bellies again. All right, 
You may choose on your exhale to float your legs off the ground by pulling, tugging, contracting through your hamstrings, but your arms are gonna swim in the breaststroke. Okay, ready? Take your gaze down. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, contract through the core and hamstrings. All right, and let's float the head and swim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, and lower everything to the ground with control. And we're gonna roll back over onto our sides and press ourselves back up and get into tabletop. Okay, all right, so we have our hydrant series. All right, so wrists under armpits, belly button to spine, staying neutral in our spine. All right, starting with that right leg, imagining that little paintbrush on the tip. All right, knee goes to elbow and paint a circle. One, two, three, four, change directions. One, two, three, four. And yes, you should be activating in your obliques here as well. If you feel it and are wondering, that's the right answer. So imagine that it's helping to pull and stabilize. No rotation, that spine stays neutral. Left leg, exhale, one, two, three, four. Change directions, one, two, three, and four, good, okay. All right, now we're gonna, yes, we're gonna press ourselves back into child's pose as we're able. So send your hips back, extend the arms. Now, as you're here in this position, hopefully a lot of you are able to get here. You will find hopefully that your feet are extended onto the mat or onto the ground. So you can feel the front of your feet touching the mat. And that's our goal to have that good flexibility in the front of our legs that can stretch and flatten. Good, okay, let's come out of that child's pose and make our way back down to the mat. All right, so elbow down, side lying, and roll back onto our backs. Okay, so we're back to our stargazer pose. All right, we are not gonna do bridging. We're gonna do just a little bit of warm-ups here, and then we're gonna try and get some bicycles in for our obliques, okay? So we've already done some of this body setup prep work mentally as we went through our workout today. So we don't need a ton of it, but just as a reminder, we're imprinting into the mat. And as we inhale, we're letting the air fill our chest. And as we exhale, our belly is sinking. And we're gonna allow our belly, our transverse abdominis, to become so strong that can actually pull the weight of your pelvis, rocking it forward from your tailbone to your sacrum. And then maybe even you can feel your low back pressed into the mat. Inhale, return, and exhale. Good, just one more. Well done, okay. Couple of warm ups for erectus abdominis. So bring the soles of your feet together, allow your knees to fall open into frog position. Draw your hands to your ears and your elbows in your peripheral. Thread your fingers behind your head. And on your next exhale, float your head up off the ground. Relax in your neck and tops of shoulders. Inhale through your nose. Exhale into your body set up. One more inhale. Good, and on the next exhale, flatten the transverse, contract through the rectus abdominis, pulling your spine forward in the flexion. And then inhale, return. Let's repeat that four or five times, rolling up onto the edge of your shoulder blades. Good, 
Good, one more. Exhale, contract and round, and then return to the ground. Nicely done. All right, draw your knees back together. All right, now our, we're back to our original stargazer pose. Bring your palms back to your ears, your elbows back into your peripheral vision. Float the head up off the ground, relax in the neck and tops of shoulders. And then exhale and allow your right oblique to draw the right leg and the left oblique to draw the left leg. All right, let's take some single leg extensions. So legs are dead, aligned over the hips. On the exhale, extend the right leg. Using the right oblique, extend and hold as the belly flattens and sliding the toe through a male slot and then return it back to a bent leg chair position. Extend and alternate with the left leg. Inhale, return, exhale, deepen. And return, exhale, extend and return. All right, lower your head with control. We'll give ourselves just a tiny break. And now we're going to combine what we're doing with our single leg extension and we're gonna contract across the swing. So right armpit to left hip as right leg extends into bicycle. We're gonna try and hold that for just a second and feel all those things coming together and then return and then go left leg. Okay, ready? Pass at your ears, elbows in your peripheral, thread the fingers, float the head, relax the neck. Exhale, float one leg at a time up into chair while your transverse is wrapping. And on the next exhale, right leg extends, hip pulls toward left hip and return and alternate. Good, okay, return to your home position, allow your head to go to the ground, palms to your sides, and exhale as you slowly lower one leg at a time into chair, or in, down to the ground, excuse me. All right, so here we are in our stargazer, and this is where we stretch. All right, I am gonna draw my knees to my chest and allow them lower toward the ground, getting a nice stretch. Pulling the right side of my pelvis up as my legs fall to the left. Tee my arms out. Take my gaze to the right. Trying to relax all the things that I'm gripping in my legs, inner thighs, back of knees. Good, now roll the pelvis back and then take it over to the right side. Woo, allow that low back to release the glutes. Arms should still be teed out and take your gaze to your left. All right, nicely done. Return to center. All right, now I'm going to roll over on the one side and press my torso up off the mat. All right, nice job today, guys. All right, take care of yourselves. Keep working on engaging your core throughout your day, wrapping that transverse as you work. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye.